Happy Sunday, everybody. I hope everyone has had a blessed weekend. And we'll have a blessed afternoon this afternoon. This is Michelle with Michelle Logerson Vlog. This is Juliet and Romeo. You can see his tail back there. Anyway, before I get started, like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I post a video. Um, on this channel, I do um, a devotional reading from Jesus Calling uh, by Sarah Young. And uh, scripture references are from my New King James Version Modern Life Study Bible. Um, one uh, videos like this one is opinion commentary, so it's my opinion. In no way am I telling you this is what you need to do for your life. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, the lesson to be learned in in this life lesson and it, you know each time God is uh, he's being a little bit more gentler and more gentler with me as I am uh, as I am um, learning um, my faults and my shortcomings and seeing them and uh correcting myself and I don't think that's me I think that's the Holy Spirit um, you know and I, I read on somebody's channel I don't remember guys oh I, I, oh, I commented on somebody's channel who has uh, you know she, she's um, she's on fire for the Lord um, and, you know, we may come from different um, perspectives, uh, different backgrounds, but our goals with one another should be, uh, our goals as, a, not for one another, our goals in an attempt to live a life that is Christ-like should always have Jesus Christ in the center. Not my, not my YouTube channel. Uh, not that uh, not that good help self-help uh, book you read but in all honesty it's very sometimes some of the simplest things is just to be obedient um, and that means you know <clears throat> reigning in our tongue because the tongue uh, yeah it's a powerful weapon if you've experienced uh, in your life some um, hurt and pain, then you know that uh, life is really, um, it's really not that, it's not complex like most people think it is. It's very simple. And God told us very simple. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. So... So anyway, so my sister's visiting, and uh, we're gonna I'll probably take her back home either tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow, or um, Tuesday because I want to take her down there, down to the uh, HUD and find out what she needs to do. And I'm also, I was gonna look into the, you know what do I need to do to buy a home, but this is gonna also ask them. What could they do? Um, or what does she need to do to get on to the uh, waiting list for a HUD approved apartment? Because, in all honesty, you know she she needs her space where she can control it, where you know nobody's going to tell her what to do or how to do it. Nobody's going to tell her she needs to do this and not that. And let me just say to you guys. <laughs> Um, I've not always been, I've, I've always loved my sister, but I've not always been the kindest sister in that, not that I was being mean or trying to hurt her in any way, because that was never, ever my intentions, but my actions sometimes might have said differently, because I'm one of those, like I told you guys, I'm a very straight shooter. I believe in, you know, let's don't, no frills about it, let's not, um, let's not paint it up to be something else, to shot, you know, to, uh, 
spare others' feelings. I mean, and, and the reason I'm that way is because um, life has been a journey for me. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I have, I, there's so many times that I could have checked out, but I didn't. And the one thing that kept me from doing that is one, my love for Christ, and two, my love for my children. And uh, knowing that every action I do reflects directly onto them, either in a positive or a negative way. So, the, but the one thing I did tell my sister, and yeah, I, I hope she understands, and I've never ever set out to hurt her feelings ever, but um, the best thing, if I had to give anybody advice, it would be, even to myself, it would be, speak positive things, and you're going to reap positive things. Even when the whole world is crumbling down around you, and you're just like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like doing that. No, I'm not doing it. Just, I, be obedient to God and give him praise in the midst of the storm. Because when you do, your faith has grown stronger. And you're, 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 you're starting to let down a wall in which you can, you know, grow spiritually and it be, you know, exponential, or not exponential, or, and it could be, uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, it can be uh, a wonderful um, place with the Lord, um, you know, when you have that peace, just like a child does, when he says we're to come unto him childlike, you know what he means? I had Juliet. Juliet, so what he means is Juliet, Juliet, no, 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 what, okay, I'm gonna have to do it, uh, take two, I can remember what I was talking about. <laughs>